Today we're going to look at this very cool looking microphone. This one is called the Black Hole BH2 from Jay-Z Microphones. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe and to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And again, share and like this video. Now, Jay-Z Microphones, a company from Latvia, they sent me the Black Hole BH2 for me to try out. So this is what I did for the past two months. I've worked with this microphone, uh, recording some vocals, uh, electric guitars, acoustic guitars for my, uh, my new single. And I was quite impressed with the results. Uh, now, I did some testing on drums. I did also uh, some testing on uh, recording a kahong um, and also on uh, male and female vocals, okay? So just hang on because I'm going to have you listen to all of those clips. Uh, but first, what we get with the uh, Black Hole BH2 is um, what they call golden drop technology as far as the capsule goes, okay, the capsule of this microphone, which makes the mic very light because it is a lighter capsule. It is gonna respond very well to fast transients and it will provide a very clear and transparent sound. Um, if we look at the frequency chart of this microphone, as you can see, it is pretty flat. Uh, we have a tiny bump in the high mid section and also in the low end section of the frequency uh, spectrum, which makes this microphone um, less colored than vintage type microphones, for example. Now this microphone has a very nice modern design and the shock mount is pretty unique. As you can see, it's very easy to just pop on the microphone directly on the shock mount and the design of the shock mount is pretty original. Like I said, I tested the mic on several different sources. So first we have an acoustic guitar. Now I decided to try that out on another acoustic guitar and this time it is a baritone acoustic guitar. And now miking a guitar amp. Now on the next example, pay attention to the low end. Um, now this is the Kahong recording that I did with this microphone. Um, and I only used that one mic. I usually use two microphones to mic a Kahong, but this time I just wanted to try it out with only the BH2. Now the cool thing about this is I was able to keep the low end of the Kahong by not compromising on the top end of the same instrument, okay, which is quite cool. So it gave me a very balanced sound, <laughs> which is quite surprising on miking this type of instrument with only one microphone. Now let's listen to how that sounds like as a drum overhead. Very surprising how much low end I get with this microphone as an overhead on drums. Uh, now let's listen to the cello. Now, this sounds very nice on cello. My daughter did a quick recording with me uh, just to test it out and I instantly fell in love with this microphone on cello. Mm -hmm. 
Again, uh, you know, the cello sounds rich, deep and clear and transparent at the same time. Very well balanced. Honestly, uh, even in, during the mixing stage with this type of recording, there's not much I'm going to do EQ-wise uh, with this recording. Um, so I really love this microphone on cello. Now, if we listen to a uh, female vocalist. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. And now on the male vocalist. Mi mente la noche recrea el día que se encontrará lo que yo espero con mi realidad sigo esperando aquí de pie mirando al cielo el sol ya está por salir I love this microphone, um, I love the transparency of the microphone, the clarity, the fact that the, the top end is not harsh, it's very smooth, and I love the low end that we get with this microphone. The flat mid-range is awesome, which gives me a very neutral and more accurate sound when I use this microphone. Now, if you're looking for a more colored or vintage sound that we get with Neumann microphones, for example, this mic was not made for this purpose. It is way more neutral and it's going to give you a different vibe than a vintage mic. So it depends on what you're looking for. Now they also have the BH1 model of the black hole, which has more polar patterns. Uh, this one has only one, which is a cardioid pattern. Um, and the BH1 has uh, two other extra pattern figure eight and Omni pattern as well. Plus uh, you have a pad also on the BH1, um, but not on the BH2 too, which is this model. So there you go. So this is my review of the Jay-Z Microphones Black Hole BH2. If you have any comments or questions, leave everything down below and don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel if you're new here. All right, guys, I'm going to see you next time. Ciao.